All right, I thought I'd uh, get a video here of my first fledgling steps towards getting a uh, working CNC mill going. Uh, you can see here I've uh, got to start on my electronic setup for um, controlling the mill. If you look down at the bottom here, you'll see the breakout board. This actually takes the signals from the parallel port on the computer and breaks them out into individual inputs and outputs to be used for controlling the motors and for um, actually controlling the milling system as well. Um, there's, I think, five or six inputs on the board and um, I think uh, 10 or 12 outputs that come from it. It can control up to, uh, I'm thinking five axes. Um, it, may be, it may be four axes only, but um, anyway, for my purposes it works. Um, I'm only going to have three axes to start with. Um, possibly a rotary down the line, but that's uh, that's not where I'll be starting. Um, right now I'm just going to have two axes um, set up for me, so I'll have X and Y um, converted on the mill, and I'll have to manually control Z for a little while until I can get the, uh, the hardware and everything put together for the Z axis. Um, so that's the breakout board. Up above it is the uh, power um, wiring for the power supply. I've got a master switch for the motor power, um, an emergency stop button. Um, that's your input, 120 volt input. Um, 120 volt running to the power supply. Um, that's then converted to, right now it's running uh, 40 volts. Um, 40 volt power is then provided to the stepper driver. And the stepper driver then takes signals from the computer and turns that into motion on the stepper motor down here. Um, this is a Hobby CNC 425 ounce inch stepper motor, um, and it's got a uh, old ham coupler I'm going to be using to uh, attach it to the uh, mill lead screw. And over here, we have the control computer. Uh, it's running Ubuntu uh, Linux and the EMC2 uh, machine controlling software. So this is uh, this is where you load up your file that tells the mill what you want to cut and uh, where to move the various axes. So I am going to go ahead and uh, run a real quick test. So we'll take it out of emergency stop. And now it's showing that the emergency stop is off. Motors are not enabled yet, so we'll go ahead and enable those. All right now it should be ready to uh, start moving. So go up here and tell it we want to uh, run that G-code file again. G-code is the, uh, the programming language that tells the um, controller where you want to move and then it turns that into uh, step pulses to tell the motor how fast to move and what direction um, on all three axes. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the play button to tell it her until it began uh, executing that code. So right now this motor is actually hooked up to the x-axis control. And you can see it's following the lines along the, uh, the logo there. And it does a rapid move, drops down and it starts cutting again. See the feed rates that I got set up right now. Um, the motor really seems to pretty much max out at about um, 60 inches a minute. I doubt I'm going to get that when I actually hook it up to the mill because it's going to have a lot more uh, resistance to movement um, turning those uh, screws. So I'm betting I'm probably going to be somewhere in the 40 to 50 inch per minute range for my rapids right now. Um, I mean, until I get ball screws set up. Uh, that's probably where I'll be stuck. Um, probably not too bad though, considering I have no idea what I'm doing with the CNC mill, so I don't really need it to go hauling off and doing stuff at super fast speeds. Um,
right. And it's finished. <laughs>